everyone, this is a review of the new Ashland Wax Melts from Michaels. These are for spring 2021. In general, I found that um, these wax melts just don't throw as well as I think they should. They're just not, as, not strong enough. And that's pretty much been the case for the past couple of years since Hannah's Candle stopped manufacturing them. It seems like the quality has kind of gone downhill since then. I don't know who manufactures these. I believe it might be some company in another country, maybe China. I'm not sure. Um, so the these are $3.99, although with coupons and sales, you can get them cheaper if you wait a little bit. But even so, it's if they don't really throw well, it's kind of pointless. And with... I also don't like the shape of these clamshells. So, well, not the clamshell, but the shape of the wax itself. So, it looks like, well, they're not actually scored, like, from the inside, which is a problem. They're only scored, like, two at a time. And it looks kind of like they're scored in the middle, but they're really not because it's hard wax. So, what you have to do is you have to take two cubes at a time and then get like a butter knife and like chop them in half if you just want to use one cube. So they basically force you to use two cubes, which is a, a little bit manipulative. So um, for that reason as well, I'm just not really thrilled with these. Uh, the price, the, the shape, the throw. So I will start with Cherry Blossoms. And I don't know the scent notes either. So this is a pleasant, generic cherry blossom scent, like cherry blossom scented room spray. That's really all I can say. It, it's a pleasant scent. It's it's very weak on cold sniff. And the throw is mild, like 2.5 out of 5. Would do well in a very small to a small room, like maybe, maybe like a very small bathroom. Next we have uh, Honey and Vanilla. And this is just plain vanilla. There's no honey. It smells like vanilla scented room spray. When it's melted, I think there's a smidgen of maybe caramel in the background, but it's too weak to tell. And the throw is poor, like a one out of five. I can only smell it from like a few inches to maybe a f barely a foot away. So this probably would not even do well in a, in a tiny room. Next is honey pear. This is definitely a pear scent, and it's surprisingly authentic. It's not overly sweet, which makes it smell like the real thing, so I was really surprised. I, I like the scent. I don't smell any honey uh, at all. It's not, like I said, it's not overly sweet either, and the throw is faint, like a two out of five. I could only smell it from maybe a couple of yards away, so it would do well in a tiny to a very small room again, maybe a tiny bathroom. But, yeah, not, not a strong thrower there. Next is Lavender Mint. This is a vanilla and lavender scent. It's not authentic lavender, but it smells it smells nice. Um, I don't detect any mint. I don't think, do I detect mint? No, I don't detect mint. And there's something in there that, I don't know, there's some odd note in there that's that I don't like, but I don't know what it is. Um, the throw is medium, like a three out of five. Would do well in a small to a medium sized room. Next is Lemonade Stand. Uh, this is not a fresh, juicy lemon scent at all. It's a salty, savory lemon with a bit of an herbal note that smells a lot like Better Homes and Gardens Meyer Lemon Basil. Um, I compared them side by side. The Better Homes and Gardens Meyer Lemon Basil is more savory and salty, and I think this scent has a smidgen more of the lemon note, but side by side, it's really hard to tell the difference. This is a fantastic scent, and the throw is strong, like a 3.5 out of 5. So this one could be a keeper, although the Better Homes and Gardens, if you can still find it, was much, much stronger and also cheaper. But this is actually a good... Um, um, a good a good dupe so next we have sage verbena 
This is a lemongrass scent, which is like, it's, it's like bland, soapy scent with a spa-like, slightly herbal, lemony note. It's not quite as lemony as other lemongrass scents I've smelled. Almost like it's mixed with the spa retreat scent that I'm going to review in just a moment. So almost like uh, it's like lemongrass, 80% with maybe like 20% of the spa retreat. And it's a very nice scent. Verbena has a sharp, more lemony note. So the lemon in this is lemongrass rather than verbena. And I don't detect sugar or I'm sorry, I'm sorry I don't detect sage at all, which is a pungent savory herb that has an almost like a marijuana type note. So even though it does have a little bit of an herbal note, it's definitely not sage. Throw is medium, like three out of five would be good in a small to medium sized room. It's a really, really nice scent though. Next is Spa Retreat. This is a nice, soft, relaxing, slightly sweet, slightly laundry type scent with a smidgen of spearmint, but the spearmint is soft and not really all that minty. Actually, it smells almost exactly like Sensational's Zen. Although slightly sweeter and with even less of that hint of mint that Zen has. So it's a really nice scent. Uh, throw is three out of five. A medium would do well in a small to medium sized room. So this one might work if, you know, maybe like in a, in a smaller room. It's a nice scent. But again, if you can find Zen, that's a lot stronger at uh, Sensational Zen at Walmart. Unless we have strawberry cream well this is a pineapple scent it's not strawberry there's no creaminess it's sweet and almost candy like but with the tartness of the pineapple and it does have a bit of strawberry in fact i thought I've, i smelled it before it's almost exactly the same as sensational's pineapple strawberry smoothie although i think this scent has a smidgen more pineapple but side by side, it's really hard to tell the difference. It smells to me almost exactly like exactly like Sensational's Pineapple Strawberry Smoothie. So if you really like that scent and you can't find it, this one would be a good, a good dupe. And Throw is strong. Now, the strawberry, the, the, the Sensational scent, the Throw was, I believe it was like bold, like a 5 out of 5. This one is like a 3.5 out of 5. It's strong, so it would do well in a medium to large room. Uh, so... It is a nice scent if you like, you know, pineapple, pineapple type scents. So there you have it. If you want to read a text version of this review, just go to waxmeltreviews.com. And if you want to discuss store-bought and retail wax melt brands and scents, you can join our Facebook group and you can find the link to our Facebook group underneath this video and on our website at waxmeltreviews.com. Have a good night.